This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And end of last week, last trading day of the year on Friday, saw huge, huge volume in the ES complex. Probably a lot of, uh, lot of retail really trying to position themselves for end of the year. But just on Friday alone, we saw over 550,000 ES mini option contracts traded with over 80% of them being put. We had been running at about 60%. Friday was over 80% puts. The leading options uh, volume-wise last Friday were the March ES 2525 puts, the March ES 2550 puts, and the end of week one, January 2150 puts coming up here in a couple weeks. Over 13,000 of those traded last Friday. Now, what's going on today? Well, S&P is uh, obviously recovered from the late day sell-off we saw on Friday and pushing towards all-time highs, new records here. And that is really, you know, almost despite the fact that we're seeing some heightened geopolitical concerns coming out of Iran, coming out of North Korea. We're seeing the weakness in the dollar really continue here. The dollar down another you know, 0.3% today. Metals are rallying. Chinese manufacturing data was actually fantastic. Nonetheless, we're seeing the S&P rally to almost brand new levels. Additionally, we're seeing volatility just get hammered across the board here. Now, what's going on in Bitcoin futures here? What had been a quiet couple days just over the last hour or so, we've really seen some acceleration here in not only volume, but volatility in, in Bitcoin futures. The overnight range um, from last night was 13,080 on the downside for the January future, up to where we're currently trading now uh, around 15,210. So just about an hour ago, that range was only about $1,000 with the high being around 14,200. But just over the last hour or so, we've really seen a push to the upside. So again, what had been, you know, a, a, a atypical quiet day, if you will, in Bitcoin futures really has accelerated, volatility has accelerated, and volume has accelerated. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.